All right, so this question says that the a cosmic ray electron moves at some speed perpendicular to Earth's magnetic field. Okay, um, so let me just start by sketching out what it's calling Earth's magnetic field. Um, and um, I'm going to assume that because they give us one value for field strength, I'm going to assume it's in a region where uh, it's mostly constant uniform. That's what I've drawn. And let's see, how do I want to do it? Oh, actually, I don't think I should have drawn it this way. So um, so what I want you to do was to draw the electron uh, coming in this way. And uh, then the force is going to take it out of the plane. So really the way I should have drawn it is I should have drawn it with the magnetic field perpendicular to the page. Um, so let me, let's have it going into the page. So this is a uniform distribution of magnetic field going into the page. Then as this uh, electron moves through, there's going to be a magnetic force on it. According to the Lorentz formula, magnetic force as a vector is Q V cross B. Okay, uh, perpendicular uh, altitude where field strength is that. What is the radius of the circular path the electron follows, right? So it will undergo radial, uh, the, the circular path uh, due to the property of magnetic field. So when you do uh, V cross B, you know, so the way I like to do cross product is with my whole hand. I first orient my hand so that my four fingers are in the direction of the first vector, so to the right. And I orient my hand until I can curl my fingers in the direction of the magnetic field into the page. So from your perspective, right, and then this way uh, into the screen. So this is the V cross B. Let me sketch a V cross B as upward. Uh, this is my V. My V cross B is pointed upward. And now what you have to remember is that the charge being negative means the direction of the force is the opposite to the V cross B. So this uh, particle is going to uh, follow a trajectory that starts to bend downward. And as it bends downward, the direction of velocity changes, so direction of the force changes along with it. It remains perpendicular. That's uh, describing a circular motion. So the particle will end up undergoing circular motion of some radius R like this. So, okay, it's uh, asking for this radius r. So, once you feel like you understand the setup, then what you need to do is uh, figure out um, uh, figure out how to relate this r to other quantities. And um, as you stare at this setup, so you've already written down the magnetic force, so we are probably going to use that. Let me write down the simplified version where the v and b are perpendicular, and I'm looking for the magnitude of the magnetic force. That's going to be amount of charge, which for electron will be minus E times uh, V cross B, where V and V and B perpendicular to the page are perpendicular. Then it will be just VB. Now, so that's the force. Now, this uh, doesn't uh, relate to anything that uh, relate to the R. So you need to think through, okay, how can I involve this radius of the circle in my description of this? And after some thinking through, you should hopefully remember that you can relate. Uh, whenever you have a circular motion, there's a centripetal acceleration, acceleration that's directed towards the center. And that centripetal acceleration is given by speed divided by r. And what all of this means is there's a net force on the particle. And that's going to be mass times v squared over r. That's what results in that circular motion. And this net force, it can only come from the magnetic force because there's no other thing to exert a force of any kind. So we can uh, equate this side with this side. So when you do that, you get... Uh, let me make sure all my quantities are right, written out as a positive quantity. So I'll say E V P naught is equal to... And make sure I'm referring to the same velocity, same speed mv squared over r. Great, I can cancel out some things. One factor of v cancels out with this. And I'm asked for r, so let me solve for r, getting me r is equal to 
um, you know, R goes over there, E B naught goes over here. So M V over E P naught. Do I have all the uh, parameters? I'm given V, I given B naught. I need to look up electron charge. I need to look up electron mass. Let me do it this way. I hate to look up constant. <laughs> so let me use O from alpha instead. If I use O from alpha, I can write down, okay, electron mass times the speed that they gave us, 5.2 times 10 to the power of 6 meter per second. With O from alpha, I like to put in units. Uh, one, I have to. Otherwise, the constant it looks up is going to be usable. So all of that divided by uh, E, electron charge, times, or let me call it elementary charge, actually. Less chance of it making it negative. Elementary charge times the magnetic field of strength. 2 times 10 to the minus 5 Tesla. Okay, let's see what it gives me. It'll hopefully give me something in unit of uh, length. Good. Um, and in centimeters, okay. Uh, let's say, give it to me in meters. <laughs> Gave it to me all in all different units except for meters. So in meters, okay, 1.478 meters. This seems pretty big. Um, I, I don't I don't really have a number sense. This is a pretty large number. This is, a, oh, I guess that's a pretty small number. It's like less than a millitesla. Uh, so maybe this is, um, now it feels too small. Um, but, all right, must be correct. Uh, 